Babe of the day. Babe of the day. Shannon Tweed. Shannon Tweed is just awesome. She's one of the most successful actresses of mainstream erotica and made movies and TV shows that guys want to watch. This blonde knockout was born to a mink ranching family in Canada. At the age of 20, she started becoming involved in beauty pageants. She did alright in those, but wasn't a big winner. Then something odd happened that changed the course of her life for the better. In 1981, there was a new TV show in Canada called Thrill of a Lifetime. It was a wish fulfillment show, and they arranged for her to pose for Playboy magazine. Shannon became Playmate of the Month for November 1981. Eventually, she became Playmate of the Year for 1982. This was a big deal, and it opened all kinds of doors for acting opportunities. 1982 was when Shannon had her first TV acting gig in a TV film called Dropout Father. It was just a walk-on role, and her character was called Beautiful Woman. That same year marked her first notable role as Diana Hunter in the nighttime soap opera Falcon Crest, a recurring character who appeared in 21 episodes through 1983. Shannon made her first theatrical film appearance in 1983. She was an uncredited body double in Curtains. That same year, though, she made her first notable film appearance in the horror film of Unknown Origin. She played the wife of Peter Weller's character in the film, who was fighting a monster rat in his house. For a while after that, she did a lot of small parts in TV and movies, but was basically working off the fame of being a Playmate of the Year. The kinds of movies she was appearing in, though, would set the tone for her career later on. In 1984, she had a part in the teen sex comedy Hot Dog the Movie in the Canadian erotic thriller film The Surrogate. On TV, she would always play the sexy woman parts. One significant TV role came up in 1984, though, that was a standout. It showed that she had acting talent and was capable of more than just strutting around or being there. She played Betty Jo Page, an insurance investigator, on an episode of The Dukes of Hazard called Welcome Waylon Jennings. Betty Jo wasn't one of the bad guys, but for much of the episode, she thinks the Duke boys stole a traveling museum. She did a good job. Shannon still found it hard to break out of small roles, but the ones she was getting after the Dukes would be a little more meaty while still playing off her babeness. 1985 was good to her. She got the role of Savannah Wilder on the daytime soap opera The Days of Our Lives and played that character for 142 episodes through 1986. Soap operas aren't really what people know Shannon Tweed for best, but they gave her more visibility and a chance to work out her dramatic acting skills. Still, she continued doing smaller parts in movies and TV shows, but it became clear that sexy comedies and sexy action movies was her wheelhouse. 1987 was when things really started happening for Shannon Tweed's acting career in a good way. She was the female lead in the action movie Codename Vengeance starring Robert Ginty. Although she wasn't the top star in the movie, it's the first time she did something that we can consider a Shannon Tweed movie. Up until this time, she did a bunch of stuff that nobody really thinks of as Shannon Tweed movies or TV shows. Starting with this movie, her style was set. Here she played the CIA helicopter pilot and ex-flame of the hero character. This didn't become a hugely popular movie, but it does have a certain following today among Shannon's fans. She continued getting better parts like this, but her first real big movie that a lot of people remember is the 1989 comedy jungle adventure spoof called Cannibal Women in the Avocado Jungle of Death. She was the main woman in this movie, and shown prominently on the posters and cover art. It's definitely a cult movie, and quite well liked. It further cemented Shannon's reputation as the beautiful action heroine of B-movies. Also in 1989, Shannon became the female lead of the HBO comedy series First and Ten for its last two seasons, through 1991. It was a raunchy comedy show, perfect for cable, about a football team. She was definitely appearing in shows made for man audiences. Shannon had been around for a while, and most of the time an actress's career is short-lived, 
or at least her best roles are behind her, after just a few years. Shannon Tweed proved the opposite. The 1990s was really her breakout decade. She became the star of her own erotic thrillers beginning with 1991's Last Call, the first of a long string of movies with such popular favorites as Night Eyes 2 and 3, Indecent Behavior 1 through 3, Possessed by the Night, Cold Sweat, and Illicit Dreams. In 1995, Shannon did a movie that I always thought was cool called No Contest. It was a diehard inspired film, but it had its own story and was quite endearing in its own right. Shannon plays a butt-kicking former beauty queen who has to stop terrorists that take over a building where a beauty pageant is taking place. Not only is it a good action movie, but it does a bunch of unusual things that make it interesting to watch. Andrew Dice Clay, the comedian, plays an extremely convincing and non-comedic role as the movie's top villain, the terrorist leader. Roddy Piper, the famous wrestler who usually played good guys in action movies, was Andrew Dice Clay's top henchman. Robert Davey, on the other hand, famous for playing bad guys, is the hero cop trying to help Shannon's character from the outside. This movie is a must-see, and people must have liked it because a sequel was made two years later, also starring Shannon. She did a very memorable appearance as herself in a 1995 episode of the comedy show Married with Children. Shannon was already quite popular and well-liked at this time, but I do think being on this extremely popular TV show helped get her even more noticed. Her career definitely did not slow down after this. In the later 1990s, she was the main woman in two action movies where Hulk Hogan was the star of an ensemble cast. They were made for TV movies, aired on the TNT channel, and like prototypes of the later Expendables movie series. These were Assault on Devil's Island in 1997 and Assault on Death Mountain in 1999. They were later released on VHS and DVD under the titles Shadow Warriors and Shadow Warriors 2. No matter by what name you know these movies, these are quite exciting and enjoyable. Clips of Shannon Tweed in these movies have circulated around the internet since the 2000s especially one of a provocative catfight scene. Movies and TV appearances continued. Beginning in the 1990s, Shannon had star power behind her cameos and wasn't just an up-and-coming starlet with a walk-on role. This continued for the rest of her career. From 2006 to 2012, she was the leading lady of the reality show Gene Simmons' Family Jewels, opposite her rock star husband, Gene Simmons of Kiss. I am a fan of both Shannon Tweed and Gene Simmons, but I absolutely hate reality shows. It was trash TV, and beneath her talent. The show was, however, long running, and apparently somebody liked it. Her career pretty much slowed down after Family Jewels. She did a few more things until 2014, but these were largely appearances as herself in various documentaries and reality shows. There was a 2017 appearance on the reality show Hell's Kitchen, and that was it. Shannon Tweed did so many cool movies and TV appearances that I'm left unsatisfied with how her career has ended to date. I think she needs to make at least one more awesome action movie or comedy movie where she plays a sexy cougar. She is definitely the sort of actress guys like to see, and sadly, we don't have anyone like her today. I've talked about a lot of actresses, and they have all earned their recognition. But I can't think of anyone being more deserving of the title, Babe of the Day, Babe of the Day. <laughs>